In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. So, the one who came down is the same one who went up, bow and beyond the heavens, to fill the whole universe with his presence. The psalm of the day is Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. How awesome is the Lord Most High, the great King over all the earth. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praise to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing to Him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations, God is seated on His holy throne. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O merciful God, today you take Jesus into heaven and break down the limits of time and space. We thank you that Jesus always intercedes for us before you. Strengthen us by the Holy Spirit to intercede for the whole world through Jesus Christ, the risen one. Amen. The New Testament reading on the day of the Ascension is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of it to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he had said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the, into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem, from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Although present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and the Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. They all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. And in the Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter 24, the following is told. Then Jesus opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told to them, This is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance and the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, 
beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had le led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, on the day of his ascension, Jesus left his disciples. But ascension is not the day of absence, but the day of his presence. The risen and ascended Lord is with us today through the Holy Spirit as we read in John his words. The Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. And if you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father. On the last words in Saint Matthew, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus said also, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away, and I am coming back to you. And still one point of greatest importance. Our Lord sent his disciples to all the world, as he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in, uh, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Lord Jesus, on the day of ascension, sent out his disciples and he sends out us today to bring forth a good message about our Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Almighty God, your blessed Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things mercifully give us faith to trust that as he promised he abides with us on earth to the end of time 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, Divine Son and Eternal Priest, inspire us with the confidence of your final conquest of evil and grant that daily on our way we may drink of the brook of your eternal life and so find courage against all adversities for your mercy's sake.